Lee Jameson, Glenn Billing, and Nathan Salem as the opening forward lineup, and Robert Ferrara partnering his brother James, sorry, partnering number 11, Scott Robson. Number 67 for the dogs to take the draw. And it's uh, Scott. Callis play there from the dogs. Turn the puck over into the slot. Should be a goal. It, Paul Native, James Ferrara goes round Bell. Little collision there. Oh! Pliskowski rings the iron. And uh, we've got no score. Phantoms come closest. Good press to James Spur. Oh! Hit the crossbar. Kalina with the shot, lifted it high, batted down, and the puck's played behind the goal once more. Goal! Good work from Salem, Jameson, and it's Glenn Billing who gets the strike, gives the Phantoms the lead with something like eight minutes and 20 seconds of the first period in the book. So that's Glenn Billing with the first of the evening. Greg, good play from Salem and Jameson. Patient build-up and Billings taking the chance well. Yeah, definitely. I think one of the things I saw last week from watching the game more than anything is those three have been three top signings. Both look really good. Salem and Jameson last week kind of fought really good games. Um, and they're playing well on a line together, a lot of chemistry. They've been doing it week in, week out. So it's good to see. Puck, aggressive four checking for the Phantoms. Good play from the Phantoms. And there was James Ferrara once more. Oh, Phantoms have hit the ironwork once more. Phantoms win the draw. Shot from Owen Griffiths, uh, just wide to the right of Brandon Stone's goal. Phantoms making this look like a power play, but it, but I, I assure you it's not a goal. Darius Blaskowskis fires, and the Phantoms lead by two. So if we just can get that back on the replay. Darius Blaskowskis with a little tic-tac-toe behind the goal, lifts it, and... Uh, Maybe I think Stones would want that one back, but it's 2-0 uh, it's to the Phantoms. Billing with the first, Darius Pliskowskis with the second, and the Phantoms have a stranglehold on the game with five minutes and 38 seconds of the period to go. So, good work from the Phantoms, Greg. Nice tic-tac-toe move, finish off by Pliskowskis. Yeah, definitely. I think, to be honest as well, what we were talking about just before, a lot of that's come from um, just a few quick changes, maybe four changes to their one. Obviously, when you get tired, you don't make the, as good a decisions. Um, but the Steel Dogs break into the corner right wing with Palak. Should be a goal. Oh, great save from Adam Long. Good turn. Robbie Ferrara to his defensive teammate. Stretch pass. Great take. Lee Jameson away with the races. Lifts it. It's uh, hit the cage again, I think. Dogs looking to clear their zone and and they do Kalina Milan Kalina goal little interplay there Kalina passes and it's finished there James Spur former phantom puts the Steel Dogs on the board and as we were saying it was so important to get the next goal and uh, Kalina doesn't shoot calm as you like little pass and James Spur can't miss that one yeah quarters on the uh, quarters on the break there exactly what we were talking about um, Come straight off the change, and uh, yeah, two or no. I mean, there's not much longer can do there, unfortunately. And I'd be one to criticise to Milan for uh, shooting more often than he passes, but for once he passes, and yeah, that's I think makes that one. Um, and Spurs, he doesn't miss. Spurs has been great for us this year. Uh, I guess it's been a while since he's been in Peter, but but uh, lost uh, none of his, uh, his his quality whilst playing down in uh, Sutton in the NHL. There's Nathan Salem. Norton at the top of this circle here. Goal! Salem finishes. Power play goal for the Peterborough Phantoms. That looks like it's not got a touch. Salem from the hash marks. Little flick of the wrist. Straight through everybody. So Phantoms lead 3-1. Nathan Salem with a power play goal. Not much you can say there. Not really. I mean, uh, difficult one for them. Obviously, you're on the penalty kill. Um, you know, Salem's gonna gonna look to shoot a lot, so you don't really want to give him that much time. But when you're one man down, there's not a lot you can do, really. And it, not an awful lot of support for him at the moment, but it's coming. And that's taken in the crease. Goal! <laughs> 
Phantoms lead by three. Weldon with the finish. Backhanded lift high into the net. Just seeing that back. Well, you'll be pleased about that then. <laughs> I won't hear the last of that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, that's where he's at home in front of the net, you know, uh, picking up rebounds and, and stuff like that, Welds. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how many goals he's scored this year, but he's had a few. Um, I mean, for them, they're going to be a bit disappointed with that. There's three of them in front. I think they kind of lose the puck and um, obviously he finds it and puts it away. Nice little pass from Spur into Hurst, gets a deflection, bounces just at the base of the board behind the goal. Oh, it's deflected, so shot from, uh, from point from number 11, that's uh, Ralph, but I think there was a deflection there. Pretty sure it was deflected in from Hurst, yeah, I thought it was. 4-2 with four minutes left, good play. and. It shows what happens if you do get the shots on goal and you get traffic in front of the netminder. It's a good, it's a good play by them. You know, uh, that's something that we try and do as well. I mean, there's, there's no substitute for it. As teams like Basingstoke and stuff have been doing it for years, get shots on goal, and if you've got guys in front of the net, you know, the goalie can't, you know, can't save what he can't see. Just not bouncing for the Phantoms there, but comes back to Pliskowskis once more. Norton fires. Goal. Phantom score. Their fifth. So that margin of three, the Seal Dogs got back in the game. You can see Ashley Calvert's really disappointed with that goal going in. And, uh, well, Greg, you're not going to wear anything other than each pair on the way home. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> That's the way it's going to be. No, to be honest, though, it's, if, after we've just spoke about their goal, it's similar again. You know, we've got guys to the front of the net, which is exactly what we want. There's a lot of traffic there for Stones to be able to save the pot. Norton's got it on goal. I think... You only have to look at the top level if you watch NHL games. The amount of goals that go in through traffic and, and screens and people get deflections on it, it's just really tough for the goalie to see. Bell calling for it, still calling for it. Off the boards, good play. In the corner, whacked in. It's on, there's a chance, there's a gaping cage. Andy Hurst in there as well. Patient play. Oh, great stuff. Not sure whether that was Weldon or Long, but great defensive play. The and there's Tom Norton this time, diving and keeping the Steel Dogs out of it. Good shot, bounce off, uh, and two good saves. Adam Long does really well. Resounding applause. Long gives Hurst a big push. And it's in. Ben Morgan. I think that's Morgan's goal. Two great saves from, uh, from uh, Adam Long. And Hurst was in front of him. It's going to be Morgan. Minute of, of the power play remaining, but it's 5 3. Yeah, well, I think uh, it's unlucky there, to be honest. The one thing I would say, I was, I was just about to compliment him as well. I thought I thought Glennie and Welds uh, did a great job at getting in lanes there. Um, and, and obviously, Longer made some big saves, but you know, it's a power play. Obviously, you're going to concede a few. And shot got through, and, and uh, yeah, they're back in the game now. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching at home, use the hashtag PPVSS. We'll try and give you a shout out. It's all gone quiet. Oh! Well. Goal for the Phantom, 6-3. And yet another time where the Steel Dogs have got on the clock and uh, blow me down. The Phantoms have gone right up the other end, swept in from Robbie Ferrara. Not sure whether there's a touch on it. There's a celebration in there. Let's just have a look. Ferrara fires it in. Not sure whether that's a tip in there. If it is, I think it's Connor Pollard in there, but uh, we wait to see, wait to get confirmation. I think that was getting away from it. I think that's Robbie Ferrara's goal. Good play in the defensive line there from uh, Scott, but the Phantoms have it. Fight in, and that's in. There you go. So the Phantoms hit the ironwork for the sixth time, I think, this evening. The bounce falls to Will Weldon. He takes a touch on his skate. And uh, there's an empty cage there. His second goal of the evening. Phantoms lead 7-3. Game over. And uh, the Phantoms will be in the semi-final, as we suspected they would be. 
to face either Hull or Swindon, we think. Go on, there's a pass there, that's it. Yeah, there's going to be a trip. Ashley Calvert swings a punch. And Scott Robson, I think it is, has a smile. That's with 31.7 seconds left. We will bring you the presentations as we always do after the, the final whistle. There it's cleared to the under of the ice. Adam Long takes a touch. There's the buzzer. Phantoms win 7-3. We'll just wait to see who man of the match is.